So the application of percentage is like to use it to represent a part, or we need to find a percentage of a whole thing. So now we have a type one question: What percentage of eighty is eight? So we to find that we will need to put it in a fraction. So of eight, eight of eighty. So we can can simplify that become one over ten. Now we're going to change the fraction to percentage. So we can multiply by one hundred percent equals to we cancelled um to do this because the percentage sign means one over one hundred. So the whole thing, the the whole thing of it actually means that one hundred times one over. One hundred, we give us one hundred over one hundred, which is one. Doesn't change the value of it. So we have one over one hundred times. See, I'm writing it again. So we cancel that out. Now we have ten percent. The other type of the question is asking you a percentage from of a whole part. So we might have. So we might have that. So of it, so we need to hold it the whole thing times twenty percent equals to twenty five. This infraction will be twenty over one hundred because we are trying to divide the twenty five into one hundred part and take twenty of it. So we do our cancellation again. We love the fraction. So we end up we have. Five percent there. Last but not least is the other way round. So we will have fifty, fifty percent of the number twenty. So this time we have twenty percent, but we want fifty percent of it. So we have multiply to get the part of it, which in fraction like this. So we again percentage is the the percentage symbol means one over one hundred. So I rewrite the fifty to fifty over fifty percent to fifty over one hundred, and then just like our multiplying fraction, if we can keep simplify it. So fifty and one hundred. Is two and one now two and twenty can simplify now we have ten so we know that fifty percent of twenty is ten and that's how we work with fraction uh, with percentage.